So this is going to be a, a very quick one. I'll cover operators because I feel like I've missed out on them and I started using them and I guess if someone were to follow these it wouldn't make much sense. Um, so there's two types of operators. I just took screenshots because I didn't see the point of me having to go through them. So we have these are the most basic ones. So we have the additional, subtraction, multiplication, division and module operator. Um, Let's just put them into use. So I'm just going to keep them in a corner for people to see. And I'm actually going to show you how you could use them. So let's just have an integer and call it number one, integer and number two. And then we'll have console.writeLine, which is going to be our input. And it's going to be int result. Now, what we'll do is the result is and we will just put our result down there you go that's very simple now what we'll do is we're just going to assign some numbers to this just for the sake of it um, and now what's going to happen is we will do number one plus number two it's literally just like maths so number one plus number two and then of course we want to make equal of to something so this is what we're going to do. So result is equal to number one and two. It's basic math. Let's have a look at this. So result is 12, because if we add five, seven and five, we'll get 12. Now we change that to minus, and if you've, you probably figure it out, it will just subtract. Jesus Christ. Minus two, there you go, because if we take away f seven from five, we'll get a minus five. And if we reverse them, that would be a two. Um, multiplication, so it's going to be five times seven, 35. Yeah, there you go. And same for division sign, which is going to give us what? A zero. And why is that? because it's an integer. So if we actually change them to floats, so we can actually work with decimal numbers, it'll give us a better result. There we go, 0 0.7. Um, finally, let's use the last operator, just the modular operator. A uh, modular operator is really good if you want to calculate if a number is even or not. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah. Um, moving on is our second. Oh, those are the ones I briefly covered in the previous videos. So if we have an if, and let's just say if number one is equal to a number two, then we'll have, let's just copy this for now. The numbers are the same. And then let's just do some more if statements for this exercise. So let's try it greater than, and I'll just put are the same. The, the number is greater than the other number. And then copy that again, and we will do the reverse sign of that is lesser than and what other signs I'm pretty sure I cover these ones with an equal they just means it's either equal to or smaller than or greater than and then one more which I didn't mention is the not equal to so well, let's actually not do this one just yet because if I do that one let's just do this one separately in a separate if statement because it will never get to it because as soon as any of these is true, this one would never run. So the numbers are not the same. Now let's leave it as five and seven. We should have two things in uh, printed because we have two sets of if statements. There you go. We have two, two, ignoring the result which I didn't delete. So it's lesser. They are not the same. Now let's change the number five to seven. We should have now one input 
ignoring the result of course so the results are the same and then let's change this to a 9 and then play it one more time and what do we have here the number is greater and the numbers of course are not the same because we are using the not equal to operator and that's it for the operators in the next section I'll move on to loops and I'll actually show some examples of loops being used in an actual yeah, game.